good morning students today's our class is in designing a learning system second step choosing the target function before going to the direct choosing to the target function yesterday sorry last class we completed with the first step choosing the training experience in that three attributes are there that studied very well we in in last class first attribute is training experience provided the direct or indirect feedback direct feedback means that from directly from the trainer or uh, co teacher or coach or indirect feedback means sequence of steps already recorded in that we are getting the hints that we can call as a indirect feedback that already we studied second attribute is in which the learner controls the sequence of training that means in which he will take the learner will take the complete control on the sequence on the sequence when the time is needed uh, then teacher or coach will help to continue with the sequence of the training in third attribute we are here we are specifying if you are having the training experience with limited number of persons or limited number of time then we can, we cannot apply that complete training experience on the new new play new game or new place new technique so here we require the wide training experience now we are going for the second step that is choosing the target function uh, that means for example in last class we took the two types of examples that is uh, learning the driving one more example is checker scheme here we are continuing with the checker scheme here checkers game as a example for this choosing the target function means in particular time you are in a particular board state that means your pieces of checkers in a particular state in particular state so already i know uh, maybe some of our maximum members of you people know about the checkers game it is just like the chess game it is also a board game in this every piece will move in in diagonal direction only diagonal direction only that is the rule of checkers game already you may might have known about the checkers game otherwise just go through it what is the checkers game and how to play what are the rules of checkers game uh, depending upon that rules only here we are designing a learning system perfectly in this we took the example of that checkers game only so in this second step choosing the target function that means if you are in a particular board state from that state from that state if one piece want to move it is the rule is in diagonal direction it is need it needs to be move to move the diagonal direction what are the allowed states are there that are all we can call as a legal moves if it is having the see in this example here i am drawing that checkers game is just like this all the pieces are there for example here one piece is there and it has the according to the rules of the checkers game it, it needs to move in directional uh, diagonal direction only that means this one is allowed direction this one is also allowed direction if some more is there they for this piece these are the two diagonal directions so these two are legal moves according to the rule if that piece is trying to move in diagonal direction what are the possibilities are there that all moves are we can call as a legal moves and the set of legal moves we can call as a priori so this one is priori so here what we are specifying from the particular state if one piece want to move what are the allowed directions are there what are allowed states are there that we can call as legal moves and set of legal moves we can call as a priori in that set of legal moves the player the player will choose only the one particular move that move we can call as a target move that we can call as a target move and if that move is that move is step for the winning the game all the sequence of moves at the end at the end of the game the win the player will win the game 
if that move is in that sequence if the if whatever the chosen move is there here whatever the chosen legal move is there if that move is uh, in the sequence of winning a game then we are assigning a particular real value to that particular move here in this that we are specifying in this steps see uh, so first point is the next design choice is to determine the exactly what type of knowledge will be learned how will be used by the performance program that means according to the first step knowledge of by using that one to increase the performance of the program we are choosing the legal move so that we can call as here let us therefore define the target value here target value is represented with the v of p for an arbitrary board state b in b small b and capital b we v of small b we are calling as a target value that means target move next state if it is illegal best move whatever the player chooses that we can call as a target state target value that we can considering as a v of b and what is the complete legal moves priori that we are represented with the capital b now what is the particular state on the board the piece particular state board state we are represented with the small b and in this if this move if this best move is in the sequence of winning game then we are assigning the some real value that means if b is a final board state that is 1 then v of b is equal to 100 if that b is in the final board state that is last then what that legal move of we are assigning minus 100 if the b is the final board state that is drawn then v of b is equal to zero if b is not a final state in the game then we are assigning the some optimal value that we are representing with the v of capital b apostrophe capital b apostrophe b is the best final board state that can be achieved starting from the b and playing optimally until the end of game here we are assigning some real values to the every move if that move chosen move is sequence of winning game then for that move every time we are assigning the real value 100 if the chosen move which is in the sequence of last the game if that is in the last of the game then we are assigning minus 100 value to that particular move and if the final board state is drawn by this move that chosen move we are assigning the value zero till now you are not at the end state and at the final state of the game then we are assigning some optimal value some optimal value not 0 not minus 100 not 100 simply we are assigning the some optimal value to that particular move till the end of the game that we are considering as a, it is a best move only at that time at that time that we are considering it is a best move only we are assigning some optimal value if the state is in the final state if you are in the winning situation then we are assigning to 100 to that move otherwise if you lost the game we are assigning minus 100 and if you are drawn the game we are assigning the zero value is that clear so this is about the choosing the target function that means from the particular state to to choose the best move from the legal moves what are the legal moves according to the rules of the checkers game what are the moves are allowed to that piece that we can call as a legal moves and what is priori the set of the legal moves we are considering as a priori in this we are using the some abbreviations b is a particular state where you are on the boat and capital b is the set of legal moves set of legal moves and whatever the chosen move is there that we are representing target value or target move that we are representing with the v of p if you are assigning some particular value to the target move that we are representing with the that we are considering as the value of the b if you are it is in the sequence once again i am repeating if that move is in the sequence of winning 100 lost game minus 100 drawn game 0 
if it, if you are not in the final state then you are assigning the some optimal value that we are considering this is the best to move is that clear so this is about the second second step in a designing a learning system and next we are going to the third step choosing a representation for the target function let us choose a simple representation for any given board state the function c will be the calculated as a linear combination of the following board phs so let us choose a simple representation for any given state the function here we are using the function c it will be calculated as a linear combination of the following board phs what are the board phs first one is the x1 the number of block pieces on the board as already we said if you are go through the checkers game in checkers game two types of pieces are there black pieces and red pieces black pieces and red pieces the number of block pieces on the board is represented with the x1 the number of red pieces on the board represented with the x2 the number of black inks on the board represented with the x3 x3 and the number of red kings on the board represented with the x4 the number of black pieces threatened by red which can be captured is represented with the x5 the number of red pieces threatened by black is represented with the x6 it is also just like the chess game only but in in this every piece moves in a diagonal only and it captures the other other color piece by moving upon that jumping upon that that we can call as a checkers game so is that clear representation of that one that we said we are calculating the c or calculating the function of that particular arbitrary state by using the linear combination of all these phases thus our learning problem will be represented c of p as a linear function of the form combination of all the phases x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 so here we are using some w values from w0 to w6 where w0 through w0 to w6 are numerical coefficients or weights to be chosen by the learning algorithm learned values from weights w1 to w3 will be determine the relative importance of the various board phs in determining the value of the board whereas the weight w0 will provide the additive constants to the board so already you know about the statistics and mathematical functions just like that constant value whatever you want to add to the function that here in this is w0 w0 is a additive constant to the board value and from w1 to w3 will determine the relative importance to the various board phs in determining the value of the board in determining the value of the board whereas the w0 i already told you it is a addi additive constants these are all we can call as a numerical coefficients in that w0 is a additive constant and from w1 to w3 these are the relative importance of the board phs so this is about the third step next class we are um, going to learn about the fourth step before that here we can considering as a till now checkers game learning problem only so this is the partial design depending upon till this point this is the partial design uh, of the checkers learning uh, program task t is the playing checkers already we studied about these three attributes when to have a well defined learning problem there are three attributes are there that is task performance measure and training experience that once again here we are considering partial designing of the checkers learning program t is the playing checkers and p is the performance measure percent of games one in the world tournament or any other tournament here we are considering world tournament and training experience e is capital e representation games played against itself target function is some one particular function we are um, that is means, means we are choosing the particular move and we are assigning the some optimal value here 
board plus some pl plus 8. Target function representation is linear combination of all the VHS here. This is about third step and partial design of the checker scheme. And next we are considering the choosing a function of approximation algorithm. Next class we are going to learn about the fourth step and the last one is the final design that we are going to learn in the next class. Thank you. Once you go through with the checkers game rules, here we are taking that example as uh, checkers game as a learning, designing a learning problem. Is that clear? So, thank you. We will meet in the next class.